Hello everyone, welcome to the channel The Third Eye. If you are new here, please like, share and subscribe and also press the bell icon for further notifications. We are going to find out the most secret and old ancient books in Hinduism, called Vedas. The holy textbooks were written thousands of years ago and still exists. So, what are they about? What is written in them? Why people always talked about their prosperity? Let us find out all in this video. Stay tuned. The Vedas are the religious texts which inform the religion of Hinduism, also known as Sanatana Dharma meaning eternal order or eternal path. The term Veda means knowledge in that they are thought to contain the fundamental knowledge relating to the underlying cause of, function of, and personal response to existence. They are considered among the oldest, if not the oldest, religious works in the world. They are commonly referred to as scripture, which is accurate in that they can be defined as holy writ concerning the nature of the divine. Unlike the scriptures of other religions, however, the Vedas are not thought to have been revealed to a certain person or persons at a specific historical moment, they are believed to have always existed and were apprehended by sages in deep meditative states at some point prior to circa 1500 BCE but precisely when is unknown. The Vedas existed in oral form and were passed down from master to student for generations until they were committed to writing between 1500 to 500 BCE, the so-called Vedic period, in India. They were carefully preserved orally as masters would have students memorize them forwards and backwards with emphasis on exact pronunciation in order to keep what was originally heard intact. The Vedas are therefore regarded as Shruti in Hinduism meaning what is heard is contrasted with other texts designated Smritis, what is remembered, accounts of great heroes and their struggles in works such as the Mahabharata, Ramayana, and Bhagavad Gita, although some sects of Hinduism regard the Bhagavad Gita as Shruti. The texts which make up the four Vedas are First one is Rig Veda, second is Sam Veda, third is Yaja Veda, Fourth is Art of Avida. Each of these is further divided into types of text included within them. Number one is Aranyakas, rituals, observances. Number two is Brahmanas, commentaries on said rituals. Number three is Samhitas, benedictions, prayers, mantra. And next is Panishads, philosophical narratives and dialogues. The Upanishads are the best known and most often read of the Vedas because their discourse is presented in dialogue slash narrative form and they were the first to be translated into other languages. The four Vedas, conversely, are considered the little sounds of the divine which, when recited or sung, recreate the primal vibrations of the universe. Accordingly, they are actually impossible to translate and what one reads in a translation should be understood as a paraphrase at best. Orthodox Hindu denominations recognize the Vedas as a significant spiritual authority but not all Hindu sects follow suit. Reform movements throughout the modern era, beginning in the 19th century CE, place greater value on personal religious experience than scriptural authority and tradition and so some sects, or offshoots of Hinduism, such as the Brahmos movement, reject the Vedas entirely as superstition. Even so, the works continue to be recited, studied, and venerated in the present and remain an important part of Hindu religious observances, festivals, and ceremonies.
you did not subscribe the channel yet, please do it now, it will be highly appreciated. Goodbye.